Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today, I got me a couple of keyboards from Roy Kaluge. Uh, they reached out to me and asked if I want to take a look at these keyboards. These are brand new, just came out. I, actually, I don't even know if it's out right now yet as of making of this video. Full disclosure, it is sponsored by them. So uh, take it for what it's worth, guys. Uh, if you've seen some of my other videos, you know that I just go through uh, the unboxing and showing you exactly what it is, okay? So uh, no reviews or anything like this here. This is my first time seeing these keyboards. I just wanted to check it out and share it with you guys. That's pretty much it, all right? Let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so I don't even know what the first one uh, I'm opening is because uh, it's got it's covered by the sticker. Obviously, if you're looking at this, you already know that this is a full-size keyboard. Look at that. So this one right here is a uh, blue slash white and purple gaming setup. You know, I, I'm i actually loving the fact that a lot of these keyboards right now are coming out with this whole scroller right here so that you can actually control your volume. You know what I'm saying? This feels tight enough to where it's not gonna accidentally, you know, up your volume or down your volume or anything like that. Um, my Logitech keyboard that has the same functionality, uh, it's a little bit, it's a little bit loose, but this one right here, yeah, they make sure that it's nice and tight. There's a mute button right there, if you guys haven't noticed that. So it is a clicky, it's not one of these button. And then also, if you've been looking at this, you know that this is a wireless keyboard. And so usually wireless keyboard uh, comes with a 2.4 gigahertz dongle so that you can plug it into like a PC or anything like that. But then also um, there is Bluetooth functionality as well. So if I turn this thing on right there, and then I believe this is the switch from Bluetooth to 2.4 gigahertz. And then let's check a look at the feet real quick. Wow, these are really tight here. There we go. It's two level. So here's one for just a tiny bit of a prop right there. And then if you pop this thing up, it's pretty high. I'm noticing this trend with uh, Royal Kaluge is that they usually add in some USB port for you. And so essentially it, what you're seeing right here, you plug this straight into either a power source or uh, your um, computer, but then these right here, you can plug in your mouse receiver and it'll, yeah. It, it, so, you know, now your mouse is actually pretty close to your keyboard, right? And so the latency is, is a little bit less. And so, yeah, that's usually how it works now. I, I actually do love this new style that everyone's doing. I really like that a lot because a lot of time I'm, I'm gonna use a wireless mouse um, with a wireless keyboard, so it kind of makes sense right there, right? Okay, so if you can't really see this here, it, uh, on this side is the word B, and this one is uh, the letter G. So I'm pretty sure B is for Bluetooth, and on the over here, it's the dongle. This keyboard is fairly hefty. Yeah, I mean, not going anywhere there. You see some of the keycaps, the way the keycap works on this one. You see there's a win in the Mac mode right there. I know this because I've tested out some of the other keyboards and usually the way it works is that you can switch from Mac layout to window layout as well. Um, it's great because, well, you only know if, if you actually use a Mac and a PC together. And I do that every single day. I have a PC right here and I also have a Mac sitting over here. And so it's great because, you know, that command key, um, it, it swapped that out for you. So it's more natural when you, whenever you're on a Mac. So I really like that functionality right there that they have. Let's take a look at see what else is in the box real quick. Uh, you guys you have some extra keycaps. So guys, these are the keycaps that comes with it right here. Here's your four extra ones. And we got ourselves a wrist rest. Smooth. And there goes, oh, it's magnet. Ah. It's magnetized. And I like the fact that there's a groove right here so it actually stays on there. It doesn't move around too much. And it does have um, rubber feet down here and so this thing actually stays in place as well. We got the usual suspect which is, okay, USB-C to USB-C but then there's also USB-A adapter in case you need that. And then there's a keycap puller which will Pull some keycaps in a little bit to take a look, so I'll take that out. 
Okay, so that's one color right there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other color. All right, so the usual. With the user manual. This one I picked because I like the black and the red color scheme. I really like this color scheme for some reason. So yeah, I, I picked this one right here. As you can see the differences in the coloring there. Let me show you. So in case, um, if you have a black gaming setup, then this is the one that I got for my black gaming setup, which I have a small one over here. And then uh, if I have a white gaming setup, which is back here, I use the white gaming setup. Okay, so we got the usual here with the same cord, key puller, and some key caps right here. So glad that they did the magnet on the palm rest because I'm actually using a uh, palm rest right now that just slips everywhere. All right, so I wanna talk about the differences between these two keyboards right here. So on my left right here, so in terms of the differences between these, um, this version that I have on my left hand side right here is called the Taro Milk. I've seen a lot of these on Instagram guys and it looks incredible on their gaming setup, especially if you have a Nintendo Switch sitting right next to it, that kind of stuff. So tactile right there. I can feel the, it is not as loud as the quote unquote blue switch out there, okay? It sounds like a linear switch, but it gives you an actual like feedback to it. So that's why I like, I like the whole tactile switch. Um, some of them call like brown switch, I would say. Uh, that, that's the ones that I'm used to uh, being called. But yeah, these right here, tactile, but it's not like loud as a blue switch. Then on my right hand side, we got ourselves something called a blue fire design. This one is a linear switch that I picked and with linear, you can hear that it's the same as the tactile switch, except I can't really, um, sh you know, let you feel it, but you don't get that feedback from the switch at all. Pretty much the same switch that I showed you earlier in that, you know, in the packet here. They look very similar, you see that? But one of them is a little bit darker, okay? So here's a linear one right here. See how the green is a bit darker? This over here is a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna put it right next to each other. You can see that. And obviously you already know that these are hot swappable. So yeah, you can swap out the switches to other switches if you want to, which is great. I think if you're getting a gaming keyboard, you've, those are kind of the minimal requirement that you gotta get, right? I don't know, it's very close. This does have a little feedback to it. But I feel like it feels good typing on it, you know? I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm always switching back and forth between tactile and linear. So if you're looking for a recommendation, I honestly can't tell you now. I used to say linear because I like it quiet. But then um, as I've, I was using other keyboards that, that uh, brown switches, I was, I was just like, man, I really love the feedback on this, but I really don't want it to be loud either, right? And so I can't go fully blue keyboard. Those. Those guys that can go with the fully blue um, switch, they're, they're, they're something else. Okay, let's take a look at the lighting real quick. I'm gonna turn off all the lights and let you guys see this, okay? All right, so hopefully my camera can help you determine which keyboard to get because, well, right now they're both showing white, right? And so notice something, okay? If you are gonna get the white version with the keycaps that is blue, it's gonna be a little bit harder to see if there's light shining through it because as you can see uh, already, it's, uh, the contrast is not there, right? So the black version is really nice with the whole black and then the white lettering on it. So it's really legible. If you don't care about that, then you know obviously white is gonna be a better choice because look how clean it looks whenever I turn on white. See that? So there's a lot of more contrast uh, in this color scheme right here. Even the white caps, you see on this one, it has the black lettering on here. It's blue lettering. Okay, so now let's uh, flip through a different colors here so that you guys can kind of see. I'm assuming this is all colorful. By the way, white with the colorful actually looks really good. Uh, my camera is probably washing it out a little bit more. 
Here's just all red, all yellow, yep, green. Just cycling through the colors just so that you guys can kind of see um, the differences in how the keycaps look. It's purple. To my eyes, this actually looks really good right here, the purple. On both colors, on both the white and, and, the, and the, the darker one. So there is a mode where you can type and it will just shine whatever that you type. Which is really cool looking. And this one right here, the entire roll. Over on here, you can see that it just goes back and forth like a wave. And here it's highlighting your gaming button, which is what you probably use the most. Which is cool, you know. Especially when you sit in the dark and all you care about is just these right here. You can reach it a little bit better. Alright, now let's switch on this one. This one now is just a wave. And this one is like a dual wave. I should change the color, huh? There we go. Color change to rainbowy to another color, red. Yeah, these RGB are not low end at all. I mean they're shining through really bright. Different mode here. This is starry mode that looks really cool here. This one right here is just a wave where whenever you press a button, it, it explode. By the way, guys, all the modes that we're going through right now, each keyboard has all of them in there. Okay, I'm just I'm just trying to go through as much as uh, I can right now, so that's why I'm not going through each one of them. Yeah, so now we're back to this one with the whole typing experience. Really like those. And these are just like, yep. So yeah, all of them have the same uh, setting, so you don't have to worry about you know picking one because it has some cool effect that you that you have, right? So there you go, guys. That's the RK96. By the way, the reason why it's, it's RK96 is because uh, it's 96 keys on here. Okay, um, I really can't decide on tactile or linear. You guys, let me know which one you prefer, but um, I'm really like torn between both of these, so I don't know. I'm a, I'm gonna probably use it one for one week and use another one another week. That's the hard part about this one for me, for sure. Um, they both sound great, they feel great, they're hot swappable. The RGB is super bright. It's, it's not one of those where it's, uh, they, they, they went, you know, uh, it's not one of those where they use low cost RGB. Um, the, the RGB is actually as bright as anything that I would get um, that is like in the upper higher end range. But that's it for me right there. I'm out of here. I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully uh, with more keyboards. Have a good one. Bye-bye.